sorry, Mrs. Tessia Onway, okay. and she's a chairwoman of uh, Southern Cameroon European Women. So she really, really comes here and wanted to share about our association. I know that she's not alone here, but she will explain more, right? Thank you very much. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. All protocols duly observed. Before I start, I would like to call on my sister and my team member, Bullet, who both of us did work on this presentation. It's a two-phase. We are going to make it as brief as possible. So she is going to tell you about the conflict in my country, and I will talk about the need for the organization. Thank you. Over to you. Greetings, everyone. This is a presentation by Paulet Menjo and Tekna Bongwe on behalf of Southern Cameroon's European Women Scheme. On the occasion of the 20th, uh, 20th Annual Women's Federation for World Peace Europe Leadership Conference on transforming our world through advancing peace, a culture of peace, and human dignity. Holding in Lanaka, Cyprus, from the 3rd to the 5th of November 2023. The chair of WFWP, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, Victims of a forgotten war. The genocide in southern Cameroon, Accra, and Bazonia. I respectfully stand on all existing protocols. I thank the event organizers for extending an invitation to southern Cameroon's European women skew. We are partners for peace and human dignity. We are here today to bring to the front burner the dehumanizing plight of the people of the former UN Trust Territory, the Southern Cameroons, now commonly known as Amazonia. My heart bleeds as I ask how many of you here know of the genocide being perpetrated in southern Cameroon. The search for peace and humanitarian support for the conflict in Ukraine and Gaza is essential, especially to this organization. However, we are here today to draw the attention of everyone here that the international community has turned a blind eye to genocide in southern Cameroon. As if they don't deserve human dignity. This genocide is perpetrated by the government of La Republic du Cameroon through its military. The impact also extends to the oppressors, La Republic du Cameroon itself, Nigeria, Ghana and the Gulf of Guinea, which is quite significant. We respectfully appeal to you all in your various capacities on behalf of the people of Southern Cameroon to consider urgent action to advance a peaceful option to stop the genocide going on in the Southern Cameroon as we speak. Genesis of a conflict in brief. The conflict has its roots in the Bush UN decolonization process in which the former UN Trust Territory of the Southern Cameroon under British administration got independence on 1st of October 1961. By joining an independent La Republic du Cameroon, another former UN Trust Territory under France. Contrary to the charter of the UN, such a UN experiment was bound to fail. In 2017, the people rose peacefully, the people of British Southern Cameroon, rose peacefully to demand 
and the restoration of their independence, which was born in 1961. President Paul Bia of La Republic to Cameroon on the 30th of November 2017 is that declared war on the people of Southern Cameroon. And the military began intense killing and summary execution of children, women, and physically impaired people of Southern Cameroon. Six years and counting, the massacres keep aggravating from Kwakwa, Pinyin, Garu, Kuma, just to mention a few. Yet, no one seems to care about a plight and rights of the people. Some hard facts. The Norwegian Refugee Commission held that this conflict is one of the most underreported conflicts in the world. Therefore, permit me to highlight the following underreported statistics of the genocide in southern Cameroon as we speak. 42,000 persons have been killed by the Republic of Cameroon. Over 720,000 refugees, with 500 in the Republic of Cameroon itself. 180,000 in a, like, sorry, over 1 million IDPs spread across towns and villages in southern Cameroon. Over 600 villages have been burned down by the Cameroon French military. Over 7,000 rape cases with 10% pregnancy. Tens of thousands were men and traumatized, and many young girls were contemplating suicide. These figures convey the enormous humanitarian crisis generated by the Cameroon's tyranny and oppressive government. This is then where SQ comes in. Okay. Yes. So, as the crisis was going on, the men, the Cameroonian or the Southern Cameroonian women in Europe came together to see what we could do to help the humanitarian situation. I must confess, it was really bad. You had women who fled to villages, to bushes, and were using the moss plant for as part. So this was very touching. So we started looking for ways to help. So SKU was formed. It was born during the crisis. It's a humanitarian and um, a human rights group. And these women came together. We've been struggling, putting money together, helping our prisoners, help supporting the women, speaking up for the women who were locked up in the who are locked up in the prisons and trying to speak out to ensure that they are released. So like I must say, the humanitarian situation is really bad. And uh, we are all we are called, we are trying our best, and we are calling for help. There are a lot of people languishing in the prisons, especially women, mothers, raped girls. We are doing our best to supply pad, food, and a lot of things in the prison. But the most important thing is that we all are novice in this. As Q members, as Q executive. We need some kind of training, some kind of coaching, some kind of encouragement to speak to the right quarters, to speak to the right people, to find a way for peace. We are here and willing to work with any group or any persons who are willing to help and to support, especially training us to be able to do the right things. Thank you. Thank you very much, <coughs> Mrs. Uh, Bonway. Yes, it's important to understand what is going on, uh, so that we are not aware at all what is going on in different countries. Even myself, I know only French Cameroon. I don't know, sorry. It's true. I don't know the other part. So now we come to the... Thank you very much.